Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Wars Battlefront 2 mods video. And today we are covering a mod that finally brings a fan favorite character into the Battlefront. And this is one I know a lot of us Battlefront fans have been waiting for for a long time. And that is Clone Trooper Legend CT7567 or better known as Captain Rex. Although he's just a clone trooper and shares the same face as a million, Captain Rex was really the first clone to show us that the troopers in the Grand Army of the Republic were not just soldiers bred for war and meant to die. Each clone has a name and a personality, and we really learned that from Rex, watching him grow from a clone captain of the 501st to a dear friend of Anakin Skywalker, Ahsoka Tano, and Obi-Wan Kenobi. So he no doubt deserves a hero spot in the Battlefront 2 lineup. And if you enjoy this video and want to see more like it, check out the channel for all your Battlefront 2 needs, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. The Republic hero Captain Rex comes into the Battlefront quite literally guns a-blazing, wielding his iconic dual DC-17 blaster pistols, which work pretty much the same as the ARC Troopers pistols, except the variant Rex uses doesn't have the secondary fire mod, however you are able to super cool your blasters, which originally couldn't be done by the ARC Trooper. And honestly I can see why. These blasters will not stop shredding apart your enemies if you keep hitting that golden reload. And I can see how this would be OP for a reinforcement, but it works well for a hero, giving Rex's blaster an edge compared to the more common clones. He also has a health pool of 750, which definitely puts him on the tankier side of all the blaster heroes in the game. And the appearance we get for him is the classic phase 2 clone armor. Now moving on to abilities, the first one we have for Rex is called Droid Poppers, and most of you probably know these bad boys by now. Rex will be able to throw three electromagnetic grenades that will stun enemies once they explode, and after all three grenades are thrown, the ability will then go into cooldown. And right here we have an iconic ability for Captain Rex and many clones like him. I like that they gave Rex an ability that really identifies him as a clone, as this was a very common weapon carried when fighting against battle droids of any kind. It definitely takes inspiration from the Arc Trooper's Shock Trap ability, but giving it some more hero level buffs. For one, there is no manual detonation and they will go off on their own shortly after throwing them. And they work very similar to Leia's Thermal Detonators, which is another great ability. You can use them sparingly one at a time, or throw all three of them at once and cover a wide area and stun a lot of enemies, allowing Rex to easily finish them off with his blaster pistols, a very classic yet refined ability with Rex. Now for ability number 2 we have unconventional tactics. Once activated, Rex will block off any enemy healing in his vicinity, and will also grant himself a speed boost. Now this is a great ability as it will not only debuff your enemies, but buff yourself at the same time. The speed boost is pretty much what it sounds like and is a buff we've seen before, but using this at the right time can help you close the distance between you and your enemies and get a flanking position on them or it can also help you retreat if you're getting overwhelmed in combat. And the health debuff is actually a very interesting and tactical ability. Stopping your enemies from healing at the right time can really give your team the edge when they're being buffed by an officer, an enemy hero, or even the back of the droid if you're playing with the gameplay rework. It's also a very sneaky ability when playing less team based modes like HVV, where say you're 1v1ing someone and they're really low in health and they try to fall back and heal themselves, but if you activate this ability they won't be able to regen their health, and if you just keep blasting away at their stamina if they're blocking and they try running away the speed boost will ensure that you can keep up with them and take even saber heroes out easily. And our third and final ability for Captain Rex is called Generation 1, and this is a timeless tried and true ability in Battlefront 2 and it's the classic health buff. Upon activating this ability, Rex will boost his health by 200 points, and like I said, this ability is a classic and there's not really much else to be said about it. Aside from the fact it's definitely a reused ability and nothing we haven't seen before, but it's still a great fit for Rex because he's very much a front lines type of hero. You really want to play him on the very front of the battlefront, tearing up your enemies. So having a quick health boost is great when you're on those front lines and need to heal or soak up just a bit more damage to keep going. So all in all, Captain Rex is an extremely tough hero who can put out a lot of damage and can really adapt to any situation. He's a great blaster hero in one on one fights and is also a great team player in game modes like Supremacy when you're fighting against multiple enemies. Between the amount of damage he can put out with his blaster pistols, his stun ability with his three droid poppers and his buffs and debuffs, Captain Rex can hold his own and definitely lives up to the loyal and noble hero we see throughout the Clone Wars and Rebels. And I'm just so happy we finally have Captain Rex in the battlefront. 
something we've all been waiting for for a very long time. So with all that covered, we are going to end the video here. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like as it really helps out our channel grow. And if you want to see more Star Wars Battlefront 2 mod content, subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell to know whenever I upload a video. Thank you so much for watching and happy modding my friends.